Dancehall queen and philanthropist Carleen Smith recently sent shockwaves through social media. She shaved her head live on Instagram, but it was all for a good cause. She's here now to tell us more. Morning, my friend. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See it there? See it there? Shame that, but, but coming back so quickly, man. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I know my hair grow fast, but yeah. since last week, too. But. Yeah. It was a very bold move, Carleen. So for the folks who weren't able to join you on your Instagram and they have no idea why you did it, let them know. It was or is in support of my sister who mm. has breast cancer. Yeah. And we're going through chemotherapy and lost all our hair. And, you know, I'm in Jamaica. She's in New York. And I thought, what best way can I show her how much I'm standing with her? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I could take the treatment, I would. That's how much I love her. Mm -hmm. And for all the cancer survivors, people who are going through it, because, you know, daily you see people. And since I shaved my head, the amount of testimonies that I've gotten mm -hmm. and people who, young people who are saying, because of you, I'm now sporting my hair because mm -hmm. I'm going to shave it again today. Yeah. So it stays like her hers is. So, you know, it's the least I could do. Yeah. Um, what do you think is interesting? Because there are a lot of people that are going through it. Yes. Um, and sometimes they just don't feel like anybody connects or understands. Um, did you even think, because this was in support of your sister, yes. but did you even think that just doing it would open so many opportunities for other women to share with you? and be able to release some of what they've been going through. No, I wasn't even thinking that, mm -hmm. that far. I was hoping that, you know, they would understand that you're not alone. Yeah. Although I don't have cancer, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. So no, and the, you can, you know, on my Instagram page, when you read a lot of it, it's, it's hard, you know, touching my, yeah, I, I was like, wow. Yeah. It's still a tough decision to make because a lot of women, um, are, are invested, it's their hair, and they're invested in their hair. And so it makes it tougher for them, the whole cancer experience, having to lose their hair. Yeah. Um, for your sister, how is she coping with the whole process? As, as I've made her understand, that's the least of, of her problem. Yeah. And so it doesn't matter. You know, your beauty comes from inside. Mm -hmm. And when you're going through so much, you have so much to worry about. You don't want to be worried about your hair right and and she is a spirited person when mm -hmm. I tell you she cracks me up she'll be doing a treatment this morning and I will be on zoom with her and trust me I'm going to be in stitches mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some of the things I can't tell you on it <laughs> you know they lose all the hair so yeah she made that yeah. my sister Lorraine and Keisha and all of us is on zoom watching her go through mm -hmm. this and we're taking the break to like want to cry and she's just Having a ball, yeah. Security. Yeah. I tell you, the will to live, as I've said to several person, that's the key. The will to live. The will to live is the key. Yeah. Also key, from what I'm hearing, is support. Oh, definitely. I, so I tell people it definitely. works both ways. Yes. Um, that that as the person who is going through it, yes. open yourself to yes. support, and that when we know people, sometimes we just don't know what to do. Yes. And so we stay away. Instead of, of, of giving support, yes. and support is, is critical, not true? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because I think because of how we've come together, we've always been a close family. Mm -hmm. I love my sisters, and especially Lorraine and Pinky. And so it's, it's, it's hard on a family. Mm -hmm. Don't think it's just the patient or the person who's going through this. Mm -hmm. It's really hard because you're like, what do I do next? Yeah. You know, what do you say? Which day yeah. is it that... Because some days she's weak mm -hmm. by this thing is in her body, treating what needs yeah. to be treat, yeah. treated. And do you just leave her or do you try to push her, you know? Mm -hmm. You're, you're you know torn no into <laughs> And you're just like, But you know not what? doing something is bad. Because so whenever do, I do. call, yeah. especially a video call, she just give me the biggest smile. Yeah. And that leaves, you know, to yeah. just act as if, okay, it's all right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to also make them know it's all right. Yeah. Work it, it out. It's all right. Yeah. Work it out. Work it out. Make that call. Make that, make that link. You Please can work do. it out. So, so, so this is a, a personal thing for you. What drove the decision to raise funds at the Boston Matthew Children's Hospital? So I met two little girls on the Instagram again um, whose parents, you know, having it hard. 
they're coming from Montego Bay mm -hmm. to Kingston for the treatment. Mm -hmm. And that touched me. And I said to Mr. Michael Dawson, my boss, let's see what else we can do. Um, it might not be millions, but every cent count. Yeah. And so that's where we said, let's take it from there. Wow. So, so, so what is the project and, and what are we raising for them? So I have a Tuesday night at um, Mecca, which is inside Marketplace, 67 mm -hmm. Constant Spring Road. Mm -hmm. So I have a little donation pan okay. at the front. Okay. So anybody feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I had my birthday party on Tuesday. I didn't charge. Mm -hmm. So it was give whatever you can. Yeah. If you choose to, that's good. And mm -hmm. if you don't choose to, that's good that's too. That's fine. Yeah. 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 So every Tuesday night when anybody comes there, there is this pan. And at each at the end of the month, I'll see what I sum up, what comes out. Because as you know, I've done for Tiger. Yeah. I've done for Sassafras. Yeah. And also this young lady in um, Whole Arbor. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Dean last year. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... What drives that in you now, Karin? I mean, a lot of people <laughs> were introduced to you as a dancehall queen. Um... And all them know is Carlene, and you know, Carlene is a dancer, Carlene is a hot girl, Carlene is a. But there's a soft side to Carlene, I don't think a lot of people know. <laughs> a very soft spot um, side. People don't tend to like good news. Okay. Because if, if they did, they, they would remember that I'm doing this from early 90s mm -hmm. with my own money. Yep. Donating wheelchairs to the Mona Rehab, you know, fostering children from the the mustard seed yes, home, yeah. giving Christmas treats, you know, before there was all the internet. And I didn't feel like I needed to make a big issue because it was coming from my heart. Mm -hmm. um, even what I'm doing now, most of it is my money. Mm -hmm. Not rich, please. Mm -hmm. Don't even have it sometimes, but I have more than who I'm helping. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're not able, I think the, the least I can do is be able for mm -hmm. you. So it's always been who I am. I think I got that from my mother and Pinky and Lorraine, mm -hmm. my sisters in general. Yeah, man. So giving is just who I am. Big support team. I know I know yes. a big support team from day one, Lorraine and Pinky, always yes. to them around giving their support. Yes. All right, so um, what's next on the agenda for you? Well, there is a lot of things, because you know I have the dance all road mm -hmm. march, mm -hmm. so we're waiting for everything. Well, hopefully there is not another outbreak mm -hmm. of the pandemic. And if there is not, you will get the date. Um, I also had the dance all queen competition planning again the pandemic. I'm not feeling the the stay at home Zoom issue because you know we could have yeah, done this. Yeah. No, I want to be back <laughs> with people. I want to you know do it the original way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're just waiting to see what happens and yeah. then the dates will be set. Yeah, um, dance all queen. It's become such a title, um, and more women are embracing that title. Um, like I'm, I'm Which seeing, they should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's a group in, in Europe. Several groups. Yeah. Yeah, because I, just before the pandemic, I was about to go to give some input on the Russia dance all queen yes. and Poland. Yeah. I think, it's, is it the Russian ones or the Polish ones? They have like millions of views every time they put up a video. Yes. Um, when you see that, what is that? How, how do you feel? You know, you had a baby and you're growing it and yeah, you're growing yeah. with it because that's my child and I'm the mom. Yeah. And you're proud because, you know, it's spreading. This child is just multiplying around the world. I wish Jamaica would see what we have the way the rest of the world sees it. Mm -hmm. um, dancing has always been a part of our culture, but it's more than just dancing. It's the parents. It's the look. It's, you know, owning your body, owning your sexuality, owning a confident woman taking it step to step. Mm -hmm. So I am proud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Girl, <laughs> it's been a long road and I'm so glad for people are watching years. and they want to assist you with some of the, the charity work so, that you're doing. Dance All Queen Carlene on Instagram, DM me and I take it from there. All right, the original queen, man. <laughs> nice to see her. Dance All Queen and philanthropist, yeah. Carlene Smith. When I said Carlene Smith, somebody said, that's a Carlene last name. I didn't know that's all queen. Oh, yes. I was greeted with Carlene Davis coming. <laughs> oh, Lord saying, have mercy. No. But I want to thank everybody who came to my birthday party on Tuesday. It was yeah. awesome. You missed it. Lisa. Lord Jesus. Yeah, that Duffy. never made me have to wake up on Tuesday morning. And I went some morning time. <laughs> yeah, Duffy was awesome. And all the guests who came performed. The Angel, Pampati, Lisa Hyper, Razor B. 
had a lot more names, you know, Cher Dancehall Queen, yeah. Renee 630, um, Chini Uni, the whole, the, it was awesome. I got the, somebody said, how long were you? I said, no, five days. Five days and it shows me to keep on going on. Yes. You know, when you yeah. get the love from all the persons who came out in support of me. So yes, and Crystal, my baby, Ryan, Superstar. Pinky, soon Crystal be on the is a superstar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mark that name. She's going to be a superstar. <laughs> That's how Queen and Philanthropist Carleen Smith. Chairman of the Jamaica Police Federation, Corporal Ron James, joins us after the break. We're going to be talking about toll exemptions for police officers. Please stay with us. <laughs> 